It's my job to uh, happily uh, announce uh, a, a renewed commitment to end homelessness in Montgomery County. We've been working at this a long time. Um, my first job uh, in the 80s, early 80s, when we first had homelessness, admitted to homelessness, was simply to convince people that we had homeless people. Uh, and I spent a lot of time convincing people we had homeless people. Now you all have done that very well. Uh, we've accomplished that. Um, and then we decided that we needed to work together as a community to address homelessness. And the Coalition of the Homeless, uh, uh, the Co Homeless Coalition now, Montgomery County Coalition for the Homeless, and many other groups have come together to make sure that we work closely together uh, to help homeless individuals. And our local Department of Health and Human Services, headed by Uma and her team, has done so very, very much to provide the leadership and the partnership needed uh, to make sure that our community works together on this very complex problem. Wouldn't it be nice if homeless people had only one problem? If all they needed was a house, or if all they needed was health care, or if all they needed was drug abuse counseling, but unfortunately they need all those things. Uh, um, and uh, uh, fortunately, by working together, we're able to do that. Uh, and then we focused on housing first and made a big difference. And then we focused uh, on ending veterans' uh, homelessness, and we did. I'm grateful, so grateful over my career to have observed the county council, uh, George Leventhal, Mark Elrich has joined us, others, I don't know if Tom Hucker's still here, have worked so hard with the county executive, county executives, those uh, present and past, to make sure that the county government's policies supported the hearts and efforts of the community, the volunteers and the nonprofits, to make sure um, our homeless efforts work. So today, we uh, announce yet another effort, um, a tough one, a real tough challenge, and that's to focus on about 240 people who are chronically and persistently homeless. They're going to be tough. I think uh, when we focused on veterans, they were difficult, but I think we only had about 18 or 20 of them, right? And that wasn't a lot of them. Now we got 240 of the most challenging, vulnerable people in Montgomery County uh, that we must find a place to live. Um, and I'm sure we'll do that because all of you are going to work together. The challenge is that with those 20 or so veterans, we had a collaborative federal government. Uh, thank, thanks very much to uh, uh, now Senator Van Hollen, who was able to extract some important um, vouchers so that we could place those veterans. Now we got 240 people in an administration that wants to end vouchers. Um, so the challenge ahead is going to be great. I have no doubt that our government team and our nonprofit organization, our faith community, which has been so helpful, working closely together, will be able to accomplish this in Montgomery County. As Linda said, if we can't do it in Montgomery County, I don't know where it can be done. We have the heart and the resources to do this. And uh, uh, on behalf of County Executive Ike Leggett, um, I urge you to join this effort to focus in a laser type of way on these 240 people and let's end homeless now.